Robin Wilson with Better Business Planning and welcome to Risky Business. We're here today with 10 Management Agency owner and founder David Sanchez. Hello. And welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Of course. Excited to be here. Right. So uh, tell us a little bit about your background yeah. before you came to 10 Management. So I started my agency last year and pri previous to that I have been in the fashion business for about 16 years. So I started as a model and have really been traveling the world. I've had, mm -hmm. you know, I've lived in New York, I've lived overseas. I've, and then in 2008, I transitioned from being a model to a talent agent. So it kind of went from one side of the business to the back end side of the business. Mm -hmm. And that's really a really exciting part of why I started my own company because I've been there. I've been on, as a model, I've been on those crazy shoots. I've been on those late call times or those early call times. I've been, you know, those glamorous shoots. So it makes me really relate to the talent. And then, you know, having on the other side, having been an agent, you are really the, the front and center of the agency and the, the booking and the sales and being that talent agent. So kind of to give a history of what an agent does for a fashion side of it, there are so many things that you are doing at once. You're a life coach, you're a travel mm -hmm. agent, you're a salesperson, you're a counselor, you're you know somebody's best friend, you're their worst friend because you have to really, we deal in beauty and time. And so when we look at a business situation, we're not manufacturing a product. Mm -hmm. the, you know, and we can say we're manufacturing a product, but that product is a person. And there's a lot of emotional ties to it and there's a lot of, uh, personalities, let's say, that go into every situation. And when we look at a client booking or a, a, a model booking, you know, we could be dealing with $100 or $100,000. And so we're the one negotiating the fees, the usages, so everything that you see on a billboard or a side of a bus or a, a Sunday paper Kohl's ad, those are all things that we're negotiating, booking the travel, mm -hmm. booking the models, making sure their hair looks good. But there's so much that goes into that. And so having been a model, you know, I've been on the sets, I've seen somebody styling the clothes, I know kind of how the model needs to look and present themselves. And so it helps me really relate to the talent. Mm -hmm. I think what's, what's, what, when you take away what a fashion agency and agent does is we're not a doctor, we're not solving cancer, but that's not meaning that we don't have a very important job and a very important role in the business world. I mean, if you look at the fashion industry and what a booker does, we're booking hundreds, almost millions of dollars of business every single year. And, and now that it's my own company, of course I want those sales, mm -hmm. but having worked at small agencies, large agencies with huge names, I can kind of see what works, what doesn't work, why they do it, why they don't do it. And I think as a model, having been a model for many years and traveling the world, you have to watch what really works and how people treat you. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing that what, what I think a, a new model or a new, a new agency might might fail at is is you it's really truly about that booker and so let's say you're my agent and all you do all day is check your Facebook on your computer instead of actually hustling and imaging the book you're not gonna actually be helping that model's career and so you could be at the biggest of agencies and they don't care because they're just showing up to get a paycheck well, they're never going to actually help that model. And so mm -hmm. when it really comes down to it, it's that relationship that you have with your agency. So the looking back at my career as a model, it's fun because I can say I truly have been on the most amazing scenarios of my entire life. And it's fun to be able to say that you get to travel on someone else's dime and be in the Caribbean for weeks and get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, see yourself on a huge billboard in New York City those are all really exciting and no one could ever take that away from me. But at the same time, it's neat to see and book those sort of experiences yeah. for the talent now. So, yeah. And it's so important to be able to relate to the experience that oh, for sure. people we're working with and for you are having so that you can make it such a much better experience for them. Well, it's, for you. it's exciting. Let's say, for example, I represent you and now I'm, you're booking a job that's $20,000. Well, that's an emotional experience. You're excited. You're like, holy crap, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You get to show up. Sometimes you show up for two hours and it's that much money. But it's all based on, you know, how what the usages are and the negotiations are. So it's fun to see when that happens mm -hmm. because it's a kind of a little light switch with the talent where they get, oh my goodness, 
this is amazing. <laughs> and then it motivates the whole, you know, we create momentum. And so if you walk in my door, you could be, you know, since I deal in beauty and time, you know, it's really my idea of what beauty is. And so I can have a roster of a hundred models and none of them could work. And so it's really identifying how to get them working. And I think if we look at a risk in terms of, of, of a model agency, that's a huge risk because if I sign, I'm just using you as an example, there are a lot of things that goes into making you work. And that's, it could be, you know, working on your body and that's healthy. So it's working with a trainer, eating right. We might need to do something to your hair. We might need to have you see a skin or a dermatologist if you have issues. Things that I can't fix are your height. And so I can pretty much work with everything else but your height. So unfortunately, they're not set by me. We have very strict guidelines in the fashion mm -hmm. industry about height. Mm -hmm. And so if you're like five, seven, five, eight, that's going to be pretty tough. And so risk, when, I, when somebody walks in my door, I'm literally thinking, who can I book them for? What can I do? And what clients do I see fit for them? And then I could work on everything else. And that risk could be, I might incur up to two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 in costs before I even book you because it's getting your portfolio ready, getting test shoots ready, maybe you have to travel, maybe it's comp card sprinting. So there's a lot of things that I'm hoping mm -hmm. on that you're gonna work for, mm -hmm. so. So tell us about 10 Management yeah. and what your vision was with that. So would you say your differentiators, since you've been on the modeling side, you're more model-centric in how you handle your business? That's a great question. So 10 Management, uh, I launched last year, so I'm less than a year old, which I'm incredibly excited about the success that I've had. Yeah, uh, you were extremely yeah. popular. I don't have investors, and so when you look <laughs> at the just the the momentum that I have to build it's incredible I have around up to 85 talent right now so if we look at my agency the differentiating factor is is really I'm speaking to the current market trends of course models are my first love uh, and I have three divisions so I have models talents and artists mm -hmm. and so I have models which are you know pretty cut and dry I have an artist division which are photographers hair makeup styling you know everything from you know the clothing stylist to the room stylist to the hair makeup and then the art the the talent division is really the new trend I represent fashion bloggers fashion personalities I have an artist who draws and he's we get to have a little more fun there are only I'm the first agency in Chicago to represent those types of talent so part of it I have to educate the marketplace mm -hmm. and nobody wants to pay for anything and so you have to really go out and, and market the each people in each person very specifically and I think the end of the day is I love what I do and why I do it is because I saw and have been at agencies that they don't treat people right they mm -hmm. screw people's <laughs> careers over and they just don't care and you know I've been at agencies that have been amazing and I've been at agencies that have been terrible with the biggest names on the door that you know as a model you walk in and go wow this is amazing but then you sort of strip the layers and it's terrible and that's why I started my agency because you have to give that amazing service to the talent so if somebody signs with me they know because I have to hustle I'm gonna work 500% for them instead of just sitting at my computer twiddling my thumbs mm -hmm. and I love it I love the fashion side I love supporting our local community you know, we have a really exciting runway shows this September 2014 going on with uh, a really exciting venue here in Chicago that's promoting our fashion personalities and our talent. And so I always look for unique opportunities in the marketplace that sort of differentiate me from my competitors. Because at the end of the day, a client can book from anywhere, mm -hmm. from Miami to New York to Seattle to Portland agencies. So why are they booking with me? So if we look at that, we have to look at why the model's signing with me, but then I have to drive that business through that front door. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the lights shut off. And so the biggest challenge I've seen is really finding that, that, that stability where I have to drive that traffic. And that's really truly the talent. So it's my eye and it's my stamp going out that door. And if I have a room full of nobody that's working, it's not benefiting me. So it's like I, when I sign somebody, you really have to believe in the, the potential that they have. And I like to say they come to my family. 
They really do. And so that is an important because it is such a tough business. And I think what's different about the fashion world than any other business is we truly are dealing with people. And everybody has a story, everybody has baggage, everybody has a unique factor about them. And it's like, how can I make you be the best person that you can be? And that's in a way why a good agent is a good agent, because how can I get you to motivate your career? And if, if, if you don't have that intensity, then it's not going to happen. And the, the hardest thing that a new model or a new agency or a new a booker, they have to understand that role. And that's definitely something I learned in my, you know, six, eight years of being an agent is learning how to sort of harness that within myself, but then activate that in that, in that talent. Because otherwise, you could believe in somebody till they're blue in the face, but if they don't believe in themselves, it's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so we have to really work and motivate the talent. And I think in a way, if we look, that's a very similar theme that you see in all the businesses, is how do we relate to that customer? How do we relate to that client? What makes us special? And that's something that's really important. And I think important for our viewers today to understand is, is find that connection, because that's really important for us. So even with all of your experience as a model for all of these years and working as a talent agent previously for someone mm -hmm. else, when you jumped in and you started <laughs> to do it for yourself, uh, can you think of any specific stories or things that happened yeah. that maybe you didn't plan for or that your experience didn't prepare you for? I would say all of it. And that's the <laughs> and I still deal deal with it every single day. Where the part of it I go home every day I go am I crazy for doing this am I crazy for putting myself in this situation and instances that I would say is I can't believe how expensive it is <laughs> every single day I just spend ungodly amounts of money and it's my money and granted I, I don't worry about that anymore because the money just it gets just funneled right back in through bookings and income um, but it's 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 everything from your office space to your attorney fees to your mm -hmm. the back end all the you know unfortunately as much as I love Illinois we don't have a great small business culture it's really difficult to work with all the states and all the filing fees all the taxes and I wish that was a better climate so part the SBAC is working really yes. hard on that right and now. unfortunately <laughs> they didn't pass the the LLC filing you know that was a big thing that I fully support mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I think this is such a great organization because you have to rely on your resources and networks and I think my biggest strength is I have those amazing networks and I'm not afraid to ask anymore. You have to be completely shameless in, in what we do today. I would say some of the biggest challenges that I have is really truly understanding my every single day risk. Like what's coming in the door, what's coming out the door, uh, and other things is you have to, if I sign you for example, mm -hmm. you have to sign a contract. Mm -hmm. And so that contract has to be mm -hmm. just bulletproof and thank God I have the best city uh, one of the best attorneys in the city and she's you know you pay for what you get you, know, you get so you know one question I'll get a crazy bill for that and those are sort of things that I'm still sort of understanding those costs uh, but at the same time the the risk being I have to always protect the talent and I always have to protect the agency because you know, this light could fall on you right now and you're the model at a booking and now you sue the agency because I've placed you on the job. Has anything like that happened? No, and knock on wood. You know, the, the, at the end of the day, a talent, every single talent from the photographer to the artist to the hair and makeup to the model, you're an independent contractor, mm -hmm. so you assume a lot of risk yourself. Granted, if you're a, a, a national chain retail store, I have to sign a vendor contract and prove that I have very high amounts of insurance uh, that cost me an insane amount of money every single month on my premiums. But less than if something were Exactly. Happen. So understanding that was probably my biggest surprise when I first launched is nobody wanted to insure a startup talent agency because we have so much liability that, that you know, it's fine that if you're an established agent and an agency, but they, I had a really difficult time getting that process and I have a, an amazing insurance broker who's you know 
really helped me and and that and I had that in so he really worked really hard for me so that was one of those where I think I had a breakdown when I was dealing with the insurance because you know you think you have all the processes set up and then you hit that roadblock but then it was fine it mm -hmm. got cleared but my insurance premium is higher than my rent and so you look at that and go okay that's I need that and I need the rent but it's it's those are sort of concerns that I have to be very honest I don't have investors like I said so mm -hmm. it's if I don't book the work I don't pay the bills and so it's also a big motivator oh though. it's a huge motivator mm -hmm. and I think that's something to, to take if you're a brand new startup is don't be scared I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned is you can't have that fear and I did when I when I was signing those papers but that has to go out the door very quickly because otherwise why are you doing what you're doing? And mm -hmm. and I and everyone says, oh, you're doing so well. I said, let's have this conversation in five years. That's immediately what I say to somebody is, is you can't, I can't rest on what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I have to continue that pushing. And I think that's a huge theme for any entrepreneur is to understand mm -hmm. the bigger picture. And that's what as a, as a, as a, and for me, that's what I am old. And that's almost to my fault. I'm, I'm very big in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. But as an agency entrepreneur and owner, you have to see a big picture in every single person that you sign. Not only my agency and the direction it's going, but I have to, if you're my talent, I have to see 10 steps of your career. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that you have to think about. And, uh, but going back to the risk, there's so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's important, you know, mm -hmm. pair up with people like you mentioned, your attorney, your insurance agent, mm -hmm. who can help you navigate some of those channels where you're unfamiliar mm -hmm. and get some protection for the unexpected. Well, and I, I would say try to make your those relationships as personal as possible. Mm -hmm. So I love Chase, they're my bank, mm -hmm. and I, I can call my banker and he will help me in a, in, a, in, a, in a minute. And you think that somebody so big, like a big bank like that, you know, you they wouldn't be so helpful. but. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't have such good banking relationships. So all those little things are so important that you need to have. And you have to utilize those. Well, great. Yeah. Tons of great advice from David Sanchez, who again is the founder and owner of uh, Talent Agency 10 Management. You can learn more about his company at their website, which is 10 mgmt.com and for more interviews like these and risky business you can visit us at meetadvisors.com thank you thank you